Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a uh, quick overview of uh, Hass.io um, XBNC nut here. Um, just had an operation on my throat, so voice is a little croaky. Um, first time I've uh, tried Hass.io, but um, it looks pretty good. It's actually running Home Assistant um, inside a Docker image. And I've got this running on a um, Raspberry Pi 2 at the moment. So you just download the image for whichever Raspberry Pi you want to install it on. And um, yeah, basically just uh, just use get uh, Etcher or a Win32 Disk Imager, pop the image on, uh, and uh, yeah, wait five minutes. And just like before, just go to your IP address, um, port 8123, and bang, it's up there. But what's new? is that you've got the um actually in the, the latest versions of uh of home assistant you've got this configuration uh groups and views here which is awesome you can reload your core reload your groups reload your automations and restart the server even check your config and you can create automations here click the plus in the corner and add an automation but with HASIO you've got this whole new interface which is just awesome so I can reboot the OS here um, the supervisor sort of runs on top of the whole thing uh, and it allows me to uh, restart home assistant from here shows me the version and I'm assuming when there's a new version that will actually uh, come up in here and allow me to update that and the really cool thing is adding it on um, add-ons here you can see I've got uh, mosquito broker installed um, check home assistant config which actually looks at the new version and just sees what's going to break in my existing config and I've got Samba enabled and you can actually go and click the little shopping icon there and you can look at the built-in add-on so if I wanted to I could go and install the SSH server and do that there and it will just install it. It's a little, little bit of configuring because you've got to use public keys on that one. Um, but there's quite a few add-ons there which are all ready to rock and roll. And uh, with my ones, if I go and look at Mosquito, you get to uh, restart it, stop it, uninstall it, and your configuration is right here. So um, I've got my username and password there. Um, I've got no remote access to my system, so not too worried about anyone knowing about that. And um, if I just refresh that, um, you can see that I, co I connected with um, MQTTFX on that. So you've actually got the logs built in right there. And if I go and look at Samba, um, you've got logs for that as well. And your configuration here. And again, you can stop and restart that. So, um, so far, absolutely loving HASIO. Um, I'm probably going to migrate my um, current system over to this because it's just going to be so much easier to uh, to upgrade the unit and manage all of these add-ons going forward. Um, I haven't got much configured in at the moment. It's just auto-discovered my um, Chromecast devices and my Wemo switch, which I've customised. Um, and I've created a couple of tabs up the top, that's about it, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's Hass.io, loving it, thanks for watching.